YouTube, Mike GPO here. Um, uh, a while back I had done a video about uh, some things, some coins that I had got from a lady in the building who I helped out with her uh, late husband's coin collection. Anyway, long story short, I helped her out again and uh, my reward will be, of course, some coins. And uh, the coins included this uh, really nice looking uh, 1922 peace dollar. I mean, I know Big Gloria will like that. Um, it also included this 1936 Canadian canoe dollar in like, in just screaming condition. I mean, it's a little, uh, little schmaltzy and dirty, but uh, I don't care. It's just in cracking condition. Beautiful coin. And it had also included two Morgan dollars, including this 1921 Just Philadelphia and a... Uh, an 1891 O mint mark for uh, New Orleans and uh, it's in pretty good uh, condition too and uh, it's just that time of day I got that stupid light coming in from the window there I, don't, I could block it probably but uh, then you wouldn't be able to see my coin but anyway another part of uh, said transaction would involve uh, four Canadian half dollars which is all the and that's that was my uh, my payment for uh, doing what I did for her. and uh, this would, I'm going to take this occasion just to show you the difference in the silver half dollars. Uh, okay, this is a 1964 half dollar, and I'm I'm just about zoomed up as much as I can get, but uh, you can see the shield and the crown on this one, which is uh, a 1954 or 55. 1958, sorry, pardon my French, but in uh, 1959, they switched to a, a smaller shield and a, a much smaller crown. You can see how big the crown is here, and uh, it, it they, they changed it quite a bit. They added a, a flag on each side. They shrunk the shield, and they put in like a, a much smaller crown. And instead of the date being on the bottom of the coin, the date is now up at the top on uh, from 59, 60, all the way to uh, 66, I guess. And then 67 is the Howling Wolf dollar, half dollar or so. But anyway, it, like I said, part of my, uh, my fee was uh, 1958, 1964. This is a 1957 and a 1950. And uh, they're all in, like, really, really good condition. I mean, I haven't seen too many Canadian uh, half dollars or dollars that are rubbed slick like you see some uh, Morgan dollars. And, like, there's just way more, way more people in America. They wear the coins out quicker. I guess they get used more. So, but anyway, that was my reward for helping uh, a lady out. I got four half dollars and... Two Morgans, a Peace Dollar, and a Canadian 80% or so. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.